All right, CSGO 2, best possible settings for FPS. We'll go over the in-game settings and the NVIDIA settings. Let's get right into it and waste none of your time. So you're going to go right to the settings menu. We're going to go to the standard video settings first. And what you're going to do is just make sure that you guys are playing in display mode is full screen. Make sure that your resolution matches your monitor resolution. Make sure that your refresh rate matches your monitor. Uh, mine's 144, just change it accordingly. And widescreen 16 by 9 is perfect. So that's pretty standard. Now getting on to advanced video settings. So player, uh, boost player contrast enabled, wait for vertical sync disabled. None of this stuff is really going to affect your performance too much. Some people say this is like a placebo, it's close. But now getting into the actual stuff to change FPS, multi-sampling, multi-sampling, anti-analyzing mode, 2x MSA. Global shadow quality, you can have on high. It's definitely like a performance advantage, like in games competitive advantage, but you could turn this down if you needed to. I just wouldn't at first, but if you need to, you can turn this to, uh, to low or medium. Uh, model texture detail, you can turn that to low. Inostropic 4X for texture filtering mode. And shader detail and particle detail, both of these can be on low, no problem. Ambient occlusion, you can put on medium. You can also put it on low. Uh, it doesn't matter too much uh, as far as FPS is concerned. High dynamic range uh, is a little interesting. You definitely want to have this on performance. That should affect your FPS solid. And fidelity FX super resolution. This is like the biggest thing. Um, so you look at it, you can have ultra quality. Disabled highest quality, quality balanced performance. If you put it on performance, you can see it gets like really blurry. So that's like, if you needed to have it like on ultra performance, you could, but the game isn't going to look great. But some of you might need that on a laptop or, or a low GPU or CPU. So totally understandable, but this is just something, just remember to change the setting. It's very important. Just whatever works for you. You could put it in the middle. Uh, you could also just put it on disabled highest quality. It doesn't really matter. It's just kind of like this is a massive setting. So just mess with it as much as you want. I'll just go on quality for now right in the middle, but that will affect your FPS a lot. And if you are on an NVIDIA graphics card, enabled plus boost on reflex low latency, just like Fortnite, if you guys played that, this, this helps a ton. This is a pretty good setting to optimize the game. And now we'll get into the NVIDIA control panel settings. Okay, now that you have the NVIDIA control panel pulled up, you're just going to go to adjust image settings with preview first and make sure you have this on use the advanced 3D image settings. Next, we're going to go into the bulk of it and manage 3D settings. And we can scroll all the way to the top. And you guys can just copy off here. Most of this beginning stuff is off. The first four things you're going to see, scaling, occlusion, uh, and stripper filtering, anti-analyzing, all off. And anti-analyzing gamma correction is the only thing you're going to have on in this section. Everything else off. So scrolling on, we'll just break it up into parts. Background application max frame rate off. Uh, pseudo GPU all. DSLR factors are kind of a weird thing. Uh, you could just have this off if you can. For me, it just makes me have it on, but I don't use them. So uh, just take with that what you will. But you should turn DSLR factor or DSR factors off if you can. Uh, for me, it's just, I don't know, it might be bugged or, or something. Low latency mode, you want to have that on ultra. That's pretty important. And max frame rate, you could cap your frame rate to whatever you're running at, 144. Uh, I have it off. I don't have any problems, but this could help with screen tearing if you experience that. Multi-frame sample AA off. Uh, both of these things just leave on auto and auto select. You're going to make sure you have power ma management mode on maximum performance. That's kind of a big one. Uh, a lot of PC tweakers have told me to do that, so I do. Uh, that should help with your FPS. Application controlled, you're going to want to change this. This is also something that you must change. Preferred refresh rate. Make sure it's going off of whatever you have in the CSGO settings. And shader cache size, uh, I believe this starts on default as well, driver default. So you can turn that to 10 gigabytes. See if that also helps with your performance. Texture filtering on. Uh, allow high performance for quality. Just make sure you, anytime you can pretty much click high performance, just try to mash it, which I'm trying to point out to you. Texture filtering on for whatever that word is, um, threaded optimization auto, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, and you can just see the rest one off auto. Another thing here is some people do have this problem, but you can go to your uh, change resolution setting and just make sure you have the refresh right here. I actually had this for a while on some other games where I did not have my refresh rate match my monitor. So make sure you have that all matched up with your PC, whatever um, resolution you want to play in, and then your refresh rate. And also here in desktop color settings, you can change your digital vibrance, uh, which is the main thing you change here. You could mess with your brightness a little bit, but mainly uh, I have my digital vibrance really high. I just have always played like that. I feel like it's easier to see people, not really going to help your FPS, but just uh, quality of life and maybe a little bit of a competitive advantage. But that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Appreciate it. Have a good one.